Steve, this is the FZ18FX machine from uh, Chiron. Uh, the first thing that I look at here is the actual, uh, the x-axis, the size of that trunnion there. It looks like there's a lot of wasted space. Wasted space, Paul, no. So then what we've got here is a full five axis, okay? Obviously you can see from the outtake within the middle there, this is where our five axis work will be carried out. Either side of that then, we have the option to put standard fixture work holding, so we've got OP10, OP20, OP30. So obviously prepping, preparing the billet or finalising and skimming off faces. Right, OK, yeah, so I, I see you, you can finish the parts in one hit essentially then because you can do all the operations. Yes, correct. Or alternatively, we, we can obviously utilise that full stroke between the, between the cheeks with, with steering, steering rack build-ups and so forth, long casting parts where we've got to spin round and we can get to, get to some end work. And with Chiron, an unbelievably quick machine, tool change, rapids, acceleration and all that. But does that mean because they're so fast, they're more geared towards aluminium machining or are they as stable as some other machine tool manufacturers? No, certainly not. I mean, through Chiron, through, uh, again, last year's figures, 75% of the machines went into an automotive site centre. OK, so they're very fast, but they're also stable too, that's what we're saying. Yeah, very, very rigid and rapid machines. And the way this one's built, this is a, this is a travelling column version? Yes, yeah, that's correct. So full, full travelling column, so obviously we've got the, the full tilt and rotation on the, on the table there, and obviously then we've got the, the, the five axes coming from the centre and the spindle. And is that, is that an HSK spindle? Yeah, HSK, yeah. So we range from HSK 50, 63, 100, obviously depending upon the power of the spindle and its configuration. And the engineering technology group in the UK have been representing these guys for about 21 years now. Do you tend to, when you sell them, mainly sell them into project environments or would you sell these as, as a standalone machine? No, these, every machine is project driven. So obviously the options and the spec that we can put forward on this machine is really catered to, to, to the customer's needs. But is, as a viewer, if they were watching this, they could look at this machine as a subcontract engineer and be looking at, say, a 300 size uh, pallet five axis machine, but think this is that, but I've got those extra options of having a, a, a longer part and also fixture in either side. Yeah, exactly. I mean, we, we, we tend to cater when we say a turnkey project, the customer will come with us with a suite of drawings. So we tailor that machine to suit the full range of, of parts for them. And do they get the option on the control as well? Because I know he just got Siemens. Is that, is that a standard? No, so we have Siemens, Fanuc and Idenine throughout, the, throughout all the ranges. Um, and like I say, with, with, with Chiron, um, we, we don't have a, 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 base, a base product, so to speak. We really do take, take it down to each individual specification from spindle torque to acceleration, deceleration, number of tools, and drill it down to the customer's needs. I'd always worry, and my final point is, if you're machining as fast as these can about having a, a crash or something like that, uh, can someone like you make that not happen? Oh, certainly. So within, within the machines, we have the kinematics. So basically, the, the machine is forward processing itself and knows of its actual, actual acceleration and deceleration. And obviously, within the kinematics of the machine, it will stop there before someone comes along like yourself and crashes it. So that's the skill of the machine, not the skill of you. Thanks, Steve. Cheers, Paul. All the best.